These steps might as well be Mount Everest. Well, when he said that, I was just shocked. Hold on a second, hon. Superior Talent Incorporated, Marty Brock... Is my second-born son without a sliver of gratitude, who wouldn't even pick up his own mother at the airport. I'm only glad his father never lived to see the day when his son would treat his own mother this way. Me, a lonely old woman forced to cope in a world of indifference. Hold on just a minute. Where is he? Where is Martin? I need him to help me with my will. Having walked from the airport, I'll be dead soon. I don't know what to do. He's with a client. That's life for you. You have two sons, one good, one bad. And you wouldn't you know it with my luck. The good one dies. But, Mrs. Brock, I I'm sure he didn't know you were coming. Don't side with him, honey. There's no future in it. Just tell me where he is. The way they run this institution is an outrage. For a poor, tired, old, lonely woman like me, her only son a felon, though not a terribly successful one. Young man. A young man. A young man. Could you please open that gate? I left my car running outside. Ma'am, can you tell me how you got to this gate? The visitor's area is on the other side of the prison. I brought him up as best I could, but sometimes a bad seed falls from even the most fragile flower. Ma'am, you're not going through this gate. Is this the way you treat your mother? Is this the kind of abuse that poor woman must endure? Well, I guess my mother is a little bit mad at me. Mm-hmm. You ought to be in the slammer with the rest of these misfits. If you had any remorse at all for the horror you put your own mother through, you'd open that gate. I have a car overheating as we speak. Okay, okay. All right, let's open the east gate. There, now are you satisfied? I'll tell your mother how her son has improved despite his shaded and somewhat checkered past. The doctor told me I'd only have to wear these until after the surgery. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my. I'm afraid. I knew an Ottoman Eagle Scout. He got a merit badge in wholesale slaughter. We came. We saw. We took the high ground. Even though some of us are very tired. A little nasal hygiene would go a long way, young man. Here you go. I hope you're grateful. Little trolls in China don't even get milk. A woman's work is never done. I guess I'll have to finish this myself. A whole troll army wiped out, and they leave the last two for me. Young man, do you realize you're trespassing on private property? Look, lady, did you see a goopy guy in a brown hat? No respect. That's the trouble with young people today. They have no respect for their elders. You're just like my second son, Jaime. I had to teach him manners. He's dead now. Listen, you old bag. You tell me where the goofball is right now, or somebody's gonna get hurt. Well, aren't we being testy? I suspect we don't have enough bran in our diet. Oh, is that a 44? <coughs> Looks just like Jaime. A diamond mine, Harold says. We'll be wealthy beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, he didn't tell me where the mine was before he took the deep six. And now, here I am, an old woman with no money, no relatives, marooned in the dark continent, Friendless and betrayed. If only I could get some help somewhere. Perhaps you people could be so kind as to help me. Hey, lady, what you doing here? Get out of here! If you people will excuse me, I've come to bury my husband, Harold, in the flames of the gentleman's club he was so fond of. This is not a funeral home. Now get out! He smoked enough cigars here to kill four men. What? What are you talking about? Tightwad took me on a cruise. The buffet was so cheap, all they had was beanie weenies on toothpicks and Ritz crackers. 
Arnold popped one of the weenies in his mouth, choked on the toothpick, and keeled over dead. Hey, hey, lady, listen to me. Wouldn't you know it? He died in international waters. The insurance company said all bets were off. I've had to live on my salary teaching charm school. Well, here you are, Arnold, at the place you so loved. Ashes to ashes. Thank you, Harold. That's the only noble thing you've ever done. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a fetching color, my dear. Thanks. You can untie me now. Oh, yeah. <laughs>